Good evening and welcome to Sam Kilp Score, the best college hockey show about the best college hockey program on Long Island. I'm Sam Kilp. Our mighty Stony Brook Seawolves hockey team returns from the long and arduous trip this weekend when it hosts the Westchester University Golden Rams on Sunday at 3 p.m. Tickets are $5 general admission and $3 for students. But in this special holiday edition of Seawolves Hockey, admission is free if you bring a toy to donate. Seawolves Hockey will be sponsoring a toy drive to benefit the Child Life Program at Stony Brook University Hospital. This is a great tradition of Stony Brook Hockey. It always draws a big response from the public. So we hope to see you and your new toy here at the rinks on Sunday. We have plenty to tell you about about the road trip. But first, we'll take you all the way back to the first weekend in November for what was a pair of rough couple days for the uh, Seawolves against the Rhode Island Rams. Seawolves lost a pair of games to the then number 11 Rams, both by a score of 3 to 2. Then it was a roller coaster road trip for the Seawolves, who started out against number 15 Liberty on the 12th and 13th of November, winning 6 to 3 over the Flames in the first game, but losing a 4 to 2 heartbreaker in the next. Then the Sea Wolves set out to take on the Villanova Ice Cats on Sunday, the 14th, crushing their division opponent 8 to 2. Finally, the Sea Wolves split a series with Robert Morris, losing 7 to 6 in the opening game and winning 7 to 5 on the next day. The 3 to 2 record on the road trip was enough to advance the Sea Wolves to number 16 in the national rankings and 10 and 8 on the season. Uh, take a look at those rankings now. Lindenwood again retained its top spot, receiving 33 of the first place votes, while Davenport strengthened its hold on second, earning four first place votes. Rhode Island moved up three spots to number eight. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with an interview. You're watching Sam Kilb's score. Stay with us. Sam Kilb's score is powered by WMJC 94.3, today's best mix. Welcome back to Sam Kilb's score. Joining us now in the locker room is Head coach Chris Garofalo. Chris, a little bit of a roller coaster road trip. Tell us about it. Yeah, it was a good trip, um, but it, you know, we came off of a long bus trip. It was about eight hours to get out to Pittsburgh, and I think the guys just kind of uh, had a little bus legs. And um, you know, we we, we we fell behind in the, in the first period. We really were sluggish. Um, we, you could tell that the, the guys were off. And what, what wound up happening is we, we, we were down by a few goals in the first, but. One of the things that I'll tell you that I really enjoyed seeing is that guys never quit. They kept battling, battling. I mean, we were down, I think, 5-2 at one point, and we battled back, and we just ran out of time. We lost 7-6. But uh, it was better on Saturday, on Sunday. We turned it around, and uh, we actually won 7-5. But another game going into the third period, we were down 4-3, and um, we actually had a, we had to kill six minutes in penalties, and we still wound up winning 7-5. So... That's one thing I'll tell you about this team that it, it separates from some of the other teams that I've coached uh, in Stony Brook is that they have, they're very resilient, they don't quit, they keep going and they'll keep working and they don't give up no matter what the score is. So I was proud of the boys from that aspect. But, you know, it does affect the rankings because uh, Robert Morris is ranked, I think, 20th and we're 16. So, you know, we split with them, it could drop us a little bit, but, you know, you never know. It's up to the ranking the people who rank us, so we'll see. Uh, looking back even further to uh, the game against Liberty, and, and you split at their ice rink. You know how big was that for the team? Huge, huge. I mean, every year we go to Liberty, and it's, 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 there's a few things, factors. It's a tough environment to play in because um, they have about 2,000 fans, and uh, they're, they're they're right on top of you as you're playing. And uh, you know, it's it's a tough crowd. They're a very good team. You know, they're they're all a bunch of Canadian boys that know how to play the game of hockey. And uh, you know, winning that first game, and we. I got to tell you, Mike Cassiotti played unbelievable. If a standout player for me was him. I mean, he scored a hat trick on the first game. He had a power play goal in the second game, even though we lost. And then on Sunday, he had another hat trick against Villanova. And we wound up going two and one that weekend. But um, the team came together. Friday, Friday night, we had a great game. Saturday, we had a you know the discipline. We had a, we had a few issues with far as penalties, and uh, we had to stay out of the box, and we did it, and it cost us at the end. So. But I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the, the results, though. I think uh, you know we can hang with the best of them. I mean, as as you probably you know already that we've only lost every game we've lost is by one goal. 
except for two ga two two games. So we're right there. We're inches away. I've said it before in other interviews, and we all are really inches away from uh, could be undefeated season. It actually could have been. So. Now uh, looking ahead to this weekend's game uh, games against Westchester and also the toy drive, and uh, you know a lot of things to look forward to this weekend. What uh, what can fans expect from Stony Brook Hockey? Well, we had a week off, so it was good. Hopefully, it rejuvenated some of the guys' batteries. Um, you know, it did for me. And now with the, we're practicing, we're getting their legs going. I mean, Westchester's a team. Although they're not, they're not ranked. I've watched them play, and, and they can upset a few teams. So if, if we go in there lackadaisical, they can they can take one from us, or maybe two. So um, we have to be prepared. We can't take them lightly. And um, you know, it's going to be a good game. Um, Saturday, like we go there, and then they come to us on Sunday. So it's three hours there on Saturday, and three hours back, and then they play us the next day. So it should be interesting. But we're really happy about the toy drive, which we do every year. It's going to go to the kids at Stony Brook University Hospital. Try to get as many toys as we can, and, and bring them down to there for the holidays. And you know, it's it's a good thing to do, and um, it's a lot of smile on a lot of kids' faces, which is always really exciting. So, so we hope everybody comes down, supports the team. And uh, brings an unwrapped toy is fine, and and just um, support a good cause. All right, great. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thank you. Uh, we'll be right back with more Sam Kilb score in just a minute. Uh, stay with us. Stony Brook Hockey is powered by the CWA Local 1104. Joining us now in the locker room is Angelo Source, a Stony Brook alumni who's now playing professional hockey with the New York Aviators. Angelo, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, now, you came back today for the uh, the practice, and uh, how does the team look? The team looks good. A lot of fast guys. I uh, heard there's a lot of depth, so that's something we've been missing the past couple of years, especially when I was playing. Now, uh, how did Stony Brook hockey help prepare you to play professionally? Uh, definitely coming in every day, uh, skating, um, the speed, I mean a lot of guys think D1 club is pretty hockey, I'm, I'm playing with a couple of guys right now, I play D1 hockey, club hockey, and we're playing with the XNHL guys, um, guys that play in the OHL, major juniors, so it's pretty good players. I mean, when you look at one of the, the major goals of this program is to have a nice rink on campus and, and be an NCAA Division One program. How important uh, would that be to the guys? How, uh, how much of a benefit would it be to this program? Uh, it would be huge. Um, I know Penn State just went D1, so obviously it's going to take a little bit of money. If that's all it takes, all we need is just someone to donate some money, and I know we have the staff to we'll support it and the school. Uh, how are you enjoying your time at the New York Aviators? It's fun. Uh, play hockey for a living. <laughs> Can't complain. Get paid. Give me a house. I'm on the ice every day and working out every day for a little, so it's fun. All right, thanks very much for joining Thank us. Thank you. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back in just a moment. You're watching Sam Kilb score. Visit StonyBrookHockey.com to sign the petition to make Stony Brook Hockey NCAA. Welcome back to Sam Kilb's score. Now we're going to take a quick look around the NHL. The Rangers are in third in the Atlantic Division, five points out of first and six and four over their last ten games. They'll play the Islanders on the second and third of December. The Isles are far and away in last place in the Eastern Conference, having won only five games this season. Which brings us to the big game this weekend. On Sunday, the Seawolves will host the Westchester University Golden Rams at 3 p.m. at the Rinks in Hawpog at 660 Terry Road off exit 58 of the LIE. Tickets are just $5 for general admission and $3 for students, but remember if you bring a new toy to donate to the Child Life Program at Stony Brook University Hospital, you get in free. So bring out the toys, put on your Stony Brook Red, and come out to the rinks on Sunday. That's all for us from this episode of Sam Kilb's Score. Good night, and I'll see you at the rinks.